Okay, guys, in create, click on the link of, on the Forex account registration link. Also create and link your Forex account to the MT4 application as I promised in the previous video. So how do we proceed? Uh, you will get a link to click and create your account, be it on WhatsApp, be it here on Telegram, be it anywhere based on where you find this video. If you find it on YouTube, check in the video description. Anywhere you find this video, it will be accompanied by the link to create your account. So in this scenario, I have the link here. This is the link here on uh, the, for me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this link and it will open up to on this platform. Once it open up on this platform, what I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed in filling this form. So I'll quickly fill the form and we continue. Okay, guys, after filling this uh, form, you see I've filled my country, my email, and my password. Here, the partner code is not necessary since you have already clicked on the link. So once you click on the link, no need to write in anything on the partner code. After this now, you then click continue. So you take continue, and this will land you to the next interface. This is this. And it will land you, it will open you up to this platform. And I'll show you how to proceed from here. So it will tell you to choose between a demo account or a real account. So here you could just select any of them. So let's just say demo account or real account. It doesn't really matter. So most of the time it will land you to this uh, back end where it has opened up a demo account for you automatically where you can start practicing how to trade all of that. But here is just the next landing page once you fill the form. So the next important thing you need to do is to click on this menu button up here, this three yellow line. Hope you can see it very well. So you need to click on this three yellow line. So you click on the three yellow line. And what you are going to realize here is you are going to get this options and also you are going to look down here you see x next products so you're going to click on the x next product and from the x next product you go to the personal area so you click on the personal area so you go to the personal area now to complete your account creation so after clicking on the personal area it loads so once you come to the personal area this is exactly what you are going to see they will tell you that you need to complete your account creation and verification. So if you take complete, you click on the complete. And the first thing they need to do, they need to confirm your email. So you click, you select the first, you, you say get started now. And there was, they have sent a code to, that, to the email I used to create my account. So simply go back to your Gmail account and you will, receive, you will see the code there. So I'll pick up the code and I'll come and fill it in that box and I'll continue. So the next thing is to verify my phone number. So I'm gonna click confirm phone number. I'll put my phone number and I take continue. So they will send me a quote to my phone number. So I put my phone number, so I'm waiting for the quote. So the quotes are should arrive. So that's the quote that I've arrived. I filled it and I'll continue as well. So the next one now is I need to complete my profile information. So I take complete now. So I need to fill, it, fill, fill my name as it's on my ID card or on my passport or on my driver license because after filling this information, you need to verify your identity. So to verify your identity, you need to upload like a valid passport or a valid ID card or a valid driver license that showed your full name as you filled. So at a certain point, for those who don't have a valid ID card, you could create this account using the information of someone who has a valid ID card, probably a sister or a friend or a brother. So you use the person's information, like the full name, everything to create so that at the end you can upload the person's ID card to verify the person's identity. As well, at a certain point, they're also going to ask us for an address, our residential address. Our residential address is also where we live. And so to have a Forex account, you need to also verify your residential your residential address. So 
when you are filling an address, make sure it's an address that you can verify. And most of the time, the address that you fill must be filled in detail. I'm going to pull a sample here, as you will see. So most of the time, your address needs to contain your quarter, your town, and even a street number. So for the document that you need to verify your address with, I will help you in that. So you just need to fill a full address example as the one I'm going to fill here. After that has been done, you take a screenshot of this page that you have filled with your name the address that you sent to me. I will help you in getting the document and send to you. So you just upload the document for your address verification easily. So, but for your identity verification, you, ha you have to do it because we don't have the ID. But for address verification, after filling, you can send it up to me and I'll help you provide the document. So let me just quickly fill this form and continue. So you've seen how I've been able to fill up my name, my date of birth, and also this is a detailed address of me that I filled. Bamenda, up station, my one. Your own could be Boya, Malingo Junction, Street One. So they never feel an address like when they ask for an address, don't just feel a name. Like people will just feel Yaoundé, Douala. Douala is not your address. So you could say, Bonaberi Douala, Quarter One, Boya, Tiko Douala Road is a detailed address. So you understand what I mean. So once you feel this, do a screenshot of this page and send to me, and I'll provide you with a document to verify this address. So once that is done, just click on continue. And they will ask you to select some few information about yourself, about the company you work with, all of that. It's not a must that you must have a company here or you have some professional details here. So you can just select anyone like me. I will just select accountancy. I will proceed to the next one. There's, they ask me if I'm employed. I can say I'm self-employed. There's tell me, ask, just select any of the answer that you want to select. If it's an investment, just select. This has really nothing to do. Just select any of the answers and you continue they won't stop you so they tell you that everything is all set and now you can now deposit now to start trading but now they give you just 30 days to use this account without verification so after 30 days if you have not verified your identity and your address they will stop your access from this so what you need to do now is you need to simply go to verify your identity so to verify your identity i need to upload a document that has this full name. So it could be my passport, I will just upload. It could be my ID card, I will just upload. So all you just need to do is just to upload your own, select whatsoever you want to upload. It could be your passport or your driver license, whatsoever. You upload it, a clear picture, they will verify your identity. Now I'll then provide you the document now to verify your address. So once your identity is verified, your address, your account will still be incomplete. So anytime, your address is still going to be your know, once uh, you you've done. Let's just log in back into my account quickly. So once you verify your 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 this thing, your identity, your address will still be incomplete. So once when whenever I will provide you with a document, you just need to come and click back on complete account or complete profile. It will take you to the page where you need to upload the address document and they will verify it. So now that is done with the account creation. So the next thing I need to teach you is how to create an MT4 account from this brokerage website and go and lock in the MT4 account to your trading app. So how do you proceed? How do you do it? So to do it is very simple. So all you just need to do here is to come down here where you see open new account in this your brokerage back end. If you don't see it, you can click on this menu button. So you click on this menu button. After clicking on the menu button, you can also click on my account. And under my account, you will see here your demo account or your real account. So you have, I have no real, I have just one real account here. So I'll just click on the open a new account. So after clicking on the open a new account, I will select if I want an MT5 or an MT4 account. So select what you want. If you want an MT4, select MT4. So now you have now different type of account as I, as I was explaining to you. And the different type of accounts now, like the standard account, what they will charge you is a spread and the minimum deposit there is $1. They will charge no commission. The next account is the pro account. The minimum deposit for a pro account is $500. 
they will charge you from 0 0.2, 0 0.1 spread, so lower, a more lower spread than the standard account, but they have more higher deposit, but no commission. So for the raw spread account, they don't charge you any spread. As I was telling you guys, the minimum deposit here is $500, but what they charge you here is commission. So that is the difference. So now they have different account size type and different conditions. So let's just select a raw spread account, for example. On a raw spread account, we have selected. And this time around, we just want to select, create a real OE demo. So for you, I'm going to create a real account and I will link it. But also you can create a demo account. Just that the demo account will come with money that you can practice on how to trade. It's the same procedure to create a real account. So this time around, since you are still learning how to trade, let's just create, let's just select a demo account. Remember that you can log in back into this brokerage website and create as many accounts as you want. So anytime you need a real account, just log in back to your brokerage site, click on open a new account, select MT4, MT5, go to real account and, and create. So here you need to select your leverage. So the best leverage here that you can select is one is to 200, one is to 2000, sorry. Then you select the initial balance that you want. So if you want to start trading Forex with $1,000, I'll advise you to have a demo account that is $1,000. If your initial capital will be $100, please select a demo account with $100. So you practice on a real scale. So you can also put an, a nickname for your account. Let's say the nickname of our, of our MT4 account is Ronnie FX. Now we need to put a password. So let's just say Ronnie FX1 is my password. So at least a special character, Ronnie FX1 at at uh, Arubas, Ronnie FX1 Arubas is our password. So, so from here now, I'll create my account. So I'll click on create account and our account will be created. So this is the account that is pending creation. So the creation is done and this is it. You can see the account is a demo account, an MT4 account, a raw spread and the, the nickname. So now we need to collect our account information from here because this is our MT4 account, right? We need to collect this account information to go log in into the MT4 app to start trading. So what we do, we're going to click on this three dots here. So after clicking on the three dots, what we are going to see here is account information. So you click to get the account information. We already knew the, we already know the password that we used when we, we, we put. So the password was running FX. Uh, running FX1 at reverse. So you will know the password that you put when you are creating yours. So the first thing you need to bear in mind is a saver. The saver here is XNX Fire 11, and this is your login number. So you have the saver and the login number, which is very important. So I will copy the login number. So this is the login number. I've copied the login number. So we'll go now to the MT4 app. Back to our MT4 app. And on our MT4 app, what are we going to do? We are going to click on the menu button as I showed you. Let me get my pen so that we enjoy it better. Right? So, so it's good we enjoy it. So this is, we go to the menu here on this three white line here, we click there and we it opens up our account and we click on manage account, click on the manage account and we click on the plus sign above here. After clicking on the plus sign, we click and we take login to existing account. On After login to existing account, we search for our saver. So our saver was xnex, so you can, you can, you can copy it down. So xnex, X next trial strokes trial X next was trial 11 was our saver. So I'll post, let me just verify to make sure that, that so X next trial 11. So I'll put my account login. Then I put a password, which was running FX one arobas and we sign in, then we click on sign in. So after clicking on signing, we just hold on a little bit for the connection to happen. And that is it. Boom, you have connected your first Forex account to your MT4 application. That is this running FX. 
and this is the account balance. So we can now go back to the quote list. And when you get to the quote list, please, something very important, NB, nota, bet, note this. When you come to the quote list, you are going to see currency pairs that you don't trade most often. So what you are going to do here is that you are going to add more currencies to this uh, quote list. So what we will do is that we will click on the plus icon here on the quote list. So on the quote list, we are going to add more currency pairs to it, to add more currency pairs to our quote list. This was not handled in the, in the last video. So please make sure that you, you take this to note of this. So here we are going to now add the quote list that we trade. We need to add the currency pairs that we trade frequently. So let's say if you want to add the currency pairs that you want, or you want to delete these currency pairs from your quote list because you don't trade them, you click on this pen to edit your quote list. Once you click on the pen, you select the trash can, and then you select all these uh, pairs that you don't want to trade. You select them all and you delete them. So we're only left with Bitcoin on as the only pair here. So if you wanted to add other pairs, you just click on the plus sign on the quote list. If you are Forex pairs, you click Forex and then you type the pair. Let's say a USD. The pair comes and you add it. Let's say you want to add GBP USD, GBP USD. We type it, it comes and you add it. So if you go on the quote list, you are going to see the two pairs I've added. So that's how you link it. That's how you can link your Forex account to the MT4 app and add the favorite currency that you trade and start trading. So if I go to the chart and the balance, you see this is our balance $100. If I put a deposit in my brokerage account, it will reflect here and I can start trading. If I trade here and I make profit, I need to go back to my brokerage website to do a withdrawal. So by so doing, I need to take you back to the brokerage site and teach you some few things about the brokerage site, like how to deposit money into your real account, how to withdraw money from your Forex account. That is just the best thing that has happened to you today because you've learned everything and you can now create and link your first Forex account to the MT4 application. So back to the website. So here on the website, uh, we are going to have this Forex end and on the Forex back end, for Forex brokerage back end, we have this menu, this menu here. So we just need to click on the menu and on the menu, you can see your account, you see deposit, you see withdrawal, you see transaction history. So if I want to deposit money into my real account, I just need to take deposit and to deposit the money is very simple. They are going to load up some different, it's a couple of payment methods for me. So these are the payment method that I have access to. So I can use like mobile money, Bitcoin, all of that. So let's use mobile money. So if you select deposit on mobile money, they will then show you your real account. So since we have only one real account, this is the only real account that we have. So you put the amount of money in US dollars in, in say, further you want to deposit. So if you want to deposit 10,000, you put it, they will tell you how much in dollars it will give you. So it gives you $11. So if you want to do this deposit, you continue. So... When doing this deposit, if, if you have already locked in this, your MT4 account or MT5 account that you have selected to your a MetaTrader 4, immediately you do the deposit, you will see the money in your trading app. And immediately you draw the money, you will see it leaving your trading app. So it's something very easy. It's not something hard. So from here, you take continue. When you take continue now, they'll ask you to put to process it. They'll ask you for your phone number, your Momo phone number. You put your Momo phone number is it i've put my own and uh, you put your momo name so let me say ronnie rustan ronnie rustan and i'm going to proceed with the deposit confirmation and it will ask me to dial this code come directly next in one minute so you can basically create link your forex account to your MT4 account, do a deposit with that within minutes and trade and withdraw your money within minutes. So I believe that by the end of this video, 
you have a clear understanding of how the MT4 applications work alongside your brokerage account for you to start trading Forex. So you can take back this video, rewatch it over and over and over again if you have not understood. And also at the end of this video, make sure that you take the link below, create your own account, verify your identity, send me a screenshot of that page which I ask so that I can help you verify your, your address and also create a demo account, link it to your MT4 application. If you are blocked anywhere, go back and watch the video and you'll be able to do it. And let's say, let's meet again in the next video where I'll teach you about the different lot sizes and their value. Thank you.